With Lebanon on the brink of civil war, the political role of the Hezbollah terrorist movement becomes increasingly influential. Professor August Norton, international relations and anthropology professor, spoke to him for live TV. Norton commented on the situation ten months after last year's war. There has been a significant political consolidation in Lebanon, where there's a lot of tension between Hezbollah and the Sunni community in Lebanon. But on the other hand, within the Shi'i community, we've seen not just Hezbollah, but groups like Amal and maybe even people who didn't support Hezbollah in the past now joining it. So there's a kind of solidification that's taken place, which has, of course, made the situation more difficult. Hezbollah's existence is a fact and not only a reality in the Middle East, Norton said, and its influence continues to expand among other Islamic groups in the area. Hezbollah has lent significant support to Islamist groups, in some cases political, moral, training, maybe even material to a certain extent. They have supported these groups in Hezbollah against, if you will, the Palestinian nationalists. There has been, I think, a kind of instructive model from the standpoint of Hezbollah of a kind of pragmatism when it comes to key political issues. It is impossible to ignore Syria when taking into account Israel's northern border. As an expert on Middle East regimes, Professor Norton appears optimistic regarding Damascus's intentions. I think the Syrians are very serious about wanting to get the diplomatic track moving. Uh, this obviously needs support from the United States. What we badly need is a, is a strategy. And unfortunately, what we're seeing now in the U.S. is... Uh, a, at best, a developing strategy. Uh, this is not the finest moment for U.S. foreign policy. Uh, in my view, though, it would be a good thing for the U.S. to support this initiative diplomatically, and I hope that's the direction that it moves in. Washington, meanwhile, has asked Jerusalem to focus more on the Palestinian situation rather than jumpstart dialogue with Syria.